Welcome back to the addendum to my Hall effect sensor and yeah, as an example, RPM measurement video. If you haven't seen that card here, link in the description. And this staff, so embedded system developer, uh, commented on that video that it would have been nice to verify my RPM measurements with the Arduino. Yeah, there it is with an oscilloscope and that's exactly what we will do in this video and maybe we tune a little bit the Arduino software, okay? The circuit on the breadboard is still the same. I just attached an oscilloscope probe and please note we got now one, two pulses per rotation. Yeah, I reattached, I uh, already removed them of course after the last video. I reattached the magnets and they are now in the <laughs> right positions to give us two pulses. And I modified the Arduino software accordingly. So we should get correct measurements. So the only changes I did to the code so far is to introduce this constant here, pulses per rotation. And yeah, for the whole code, please watch the other video. It was already carded, link in the description. And I'm using that constant now here in my RPM calculation, okay? That's all. So I can measure the RPMs now with the oscilloscope. Yeah, in Hertz, we have to do some calculations afterwards. And on the Arduino, fire in the hole. So the Arduino says about 7,500 RPMs. And here we read 250 Hertz. So, 250 hertz, that's per second times 60, because we want RPM, so per minute, divided by 2, and that's 7500. So, yeah, it's measuring quite accurately. The length I go for you, or especially for you, Amp Systef, Embedded System Developer. No, seriously, it was a very good idea to verify the RPM measurements made with the Arduino by using an oscilloscope. I could have made a mistake in my code, there could have been a bug somewhere in the Arduino environment. Yeah, endless possibilities. But no, the code is working fine. And in the process, we enhanced it. So you can configure now the pulses per revolution, yeah, depending on how many magnets you put on your motor axle. I put the code, the revised code, again, uh, somewhere, link in the description. Till next time, bye.